Hi friends, in order to understand the impact of inlet line pressure drop on the performance of a safety wall, let us first understand the relationship between the operating pressure and the lift of the safety wall in the chart depicted here. At the center of the chart is the set pressure and as the operating pressure starts increasing beyond the set pressure, the safety wall opens with a pop action and after opening the safety wall starts to relieve the vapor or the gases. The operating pressure still continues to rise and the PSV keeps lifting up. As the operating pressure reaches the 10% of the set pressure, the lift reaches the 100% and the safety wall relieves the pressure in the system. After a while, the system starts normalizing and the pressure starts dropping and as it goes below the set pressure, the safety wall starts closing. At about 10% below the set pressure, generally, it closes fully or it recedes. The difference in the percentage between the closing pressure and the set pressure is called the blowdown. Now, let us take the case when the inlet line size is well sized and the inlet line pressure drop is less than the 3% of the safety wall set pressure at the rated flow rate. As the operating pressure reaches the set pressure, the valve starts opening and it reaches the full lift at 110% of the set pressure. The safety wall continues to relieve the excess pressure and because the line delta P is less than 3%, the wall lift remains at 300%. After a while, when the reason for the overpressure is fixed or solved, the operating pressure drops below the set pressure and the valve reseats at about 90% of the set pressure. Now, let us look at the case when the inlet line to the safety valve is not properly sized. So at the beginning, when the operating pressure is below set pressure, the safety valve is well seated and then the operating pressure keeps increasing and reaches the set pressure, the valve starts lifting. The valve opens with a pop action and the valve starts opening slowly as the operating pressure goes above the set pressure and as it reaches 110% of the set pressure, it, reach, it opens fully. But at the 110% over pressure, when it is relieving fully, the line inlet line delta P is greater than 3%. So what happens is valve starts closing slowly to adjust for that drop in pressure. Since the valve starts closing, the flow rate drops, the pressure in the system increases. And again, the pressure reaches the set pressure, the valve opens fully. So this cycle of opening and closing of the valve continues. This is called PSV chatter. That's the reason why the inlet line needs to be sized well, such that the pressure drop is less than 3% of the set pressure. Actually, we should target 2% of the set pressure. Thank you.